So here's the lip. I got it on my bed. It's just so I can avoid scratching the bottom part of it, even though I'm most likely gonna scratch it wherever the hell I go, but oh well. Anyways, I got the Camry SE uh, spoiler lip protector, I guess you could call it. There's the part number if you guys are interested in getting it. Um, it's it's a it's a really good piece if you if you're trying to put the rubber protectors on your um, TRD parts for the Celica, or for, it, it works on pretty much any car. I see a bunch of the a uh, bunch of the drifters that want to have like the fender flares. They use these to avoid. Um, I guess you could say avoid um, um, rubbing the paint from the from the flares or or like the lip like the vibration it doesn't like mess up the paint uh, from when it vibrates it goes like up and down like this so it doesn't rub the paint it will rub on this and it adds like an extra layer of protection I guess you could say but I bought this because the if you look at the Celica pictures on the internet it looks like the official kit has this um, pre-installed on it I think the official one is a gray one, but I don't like the gray one. I prefer to have the black one. And the idea is to put it like this, all along the edges from where it's gonna contact with the bumper itself. Um, I think it's right here, all this, and this area is not doesn't touch, and it's this area right here that we're gonna be putting this on. So let me go ahead and do that now. Before you want to apply the protector, you want to make sure you go over the inside portion of the part where you're gonna apply it with like some sandpaper, just so you could give it, um, just so in case like there's an overspray from when you painted your parts, like the overspray doesn't stick to the, the tape. So it's just gonna like come right off very easily. You don't want to have overspray on the inside part, so just go over it with the sandpaper, piece of sandpaper. Just go over it all like this. You don't have to do nothing crazy. Just you just want to remove all that overspray, and then just rub your scrub all over it and get that dust off of it. I guess you could use some graph, um, wax and grease remover, but you don't really need to. That's enough. You don't really need to do that much. And here I got my. My protector and what you want to do is pretty much uh, let's see if I could do this without having my fingers on the camera blocking uh, okay so there it goes it's a little bit tricky on these edges but you should be you shouldn't have any problem doing it Take your time, you don't want to rush through this. Depending on the fitment of the lip, you may not want to put this on. Um, I don't have my, I'm not test fitting it right now, so depending if it fits or not properly, I might have to cut this portion off, the one that's on the back side. But I'm just gonna leave it like that because I think I remember on my side skirts, when I did this to my side skirts, I was able to do this and I was able to install them still because they had a little bit more extra give, give room. So hopefully it, it does work like that. That way it doesn't rub the back of the bumper. And yeah, there it is. It's, it's on there pretty tight. What I like about this is that it gives the, uh, the aftermarket pieces like the Aero Kit a bit of a more um, original look, like OEM look to it. Like if, uh, I, don't know if I don't know if other um, car companies do it, but I see it on a lot of the Toyotas. They put this some um, stuff around their lip, the the arrow pieces. The they put it like on all their front lips, on all their rear lips, the side skirts. They put it on all that, and it just adds a it just adds more like as I said, it looks OEM. It looks like it was meant to be there, and 
it just looks nice. I like it. Some people might not like it. Oh well, my car, don't worry about it. <laughs> Same thing goes for right here. So there it is on that piece already. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the other side. You guys saw how I did it. So when you buy the lip for the Celica, you get a mad tight JDM instruction installation guide, I guess you could say. And I really don't understand none of this. <laughs> I mean, you look at the picture and get an idea of what they're saying. Basically, they want you to put this double sided it looks to be like double sided tape. I'm not too sure. It looks like double sided tape. I could be wrong though. Um, yeah, it is double sided tape. Okay, so they want you to put this double sided tape all along this area right here. Yeah, they want you to put it on this area, the underside, and then they want you to put it all along this, the middle piece. Um, kind of iffy about using this one because there's a better one. I don't know how, how, um, how JDM reliable, I don't know how reliable these JDM ones are, but I've been using the 3M one for years and years and this works like wonders. It works really good. Um, I think I'm going to use, I don't even have that much. I don't think... I don't think I'm gonna be able to cover this whole thing, but what I wanna use, I wanna use this one for this piece right here. That's the one I wanna use this one for. And then this one, I'll just go ahead and use it for, for this piece right here, or, uh, yeah. I was gonna go ahead and do that, cause I'm a little iffy about this one. It's, it's I don't know, for, for that big of an area, I don't think this is gonna do much. I think it, over time it's gonna come off when I'm, wa when I'm washing the car, when I'm doing stuff. And I think this is gonna like wear out very easily. And that one, I it's still, it's still strong on my um, it was strong on my old Corolla even after the accident. And I've had that Corolla for like three years plus. And when I was removing my lip kit from it, this was still super sticky. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one for the middle piece. And I'm gonna go ahead and use these for the these pieces right the the side pieces right here. Again, I got overspray on the bottom side of the lip, so before you go applying 3M tape, you need to get rid of that overspray or your 3M tape is just going to stick to that and it's going to peel right off like nothing. So let me get my 3M sandpaper and just go over it. So I already applied the double sided tape to the areas that the instructions told me to. And as I said, the only reason I put the red 3M tape from Home Depot is because I know this one will stick. I know it will stick three years later down the road and I know it's not gonna come off. And I just, I'm just, I just trust this one more than the JDM one. And there's my cat again. Damn cat, get out of here. Hey, get out of here. Anyways, there's, a, there's the 3M tape. Um, I got a little bit left if any of you guys want some JDM pieces. This cat needs to get out of here because you are invading my video and you're stepping on my JDM instructions there. There's the hood scoop, there's a tsunami hood scoop. And yes, I know a lot of you people have been pointing it out. I bought one, okay? So calm down. There's there's the part number. This is the the rubber piece for that goes in between the, the hood and the bumper. Um, I removed the one on mine because it had overspray from the first owner. He um, he didn't tape it up, and so he got the carbon blue all over the, the piece, and so it looked like it was just falling apart. So I ripped it off before spraying the car, and I bought a new one, so I will be installing that and shortly.